There are two methods to calculate the balance of a loan outstanding at any point in time during the loan repayment. Let's assume that we have a duration of a loan, which is denoted by n, such as seven years, and we would like to estimate the loan outstanding at the end of a certain year, which we will call k, and let's assume that k is three. The first method is the retrospective method, which is a backward looking approach. This means that we check the numbers of paid installments. Then we need to bring them to the year of analysis in which we want to calculate the loan outstanding, which is year three in our example. Therefore, we use the future value formula. The retrospective method formula is the future value of the loan minus the future value of the paid installments. We want to know the value of the loan in the future at the end of year three. So we use the future value of a single cash flow because we get the loan once. Then we need to calculate and subtract the future value of the paid installments as we did part of the loan already. So we use the future value of the ordinary annuity because we paid periodic installments. So our formula is the present value of the remaining unpaid installments, which is equal to the loan amount multiplied by open bracket one plus the interest rate close bracket to the power of the number of paid periods minus the periodic installment multiplied by the open bracket, open the second bracket, one plus the interest rate, close the second bracket, to the power of minus one, close the first bracket, all divided by the interest rate. The second method is a prospective method, which is a forward looking approach. This means that we check the number of unpaid installments. Then we need to bring the future unpaid installments to the year of analysis in which we want to calculate the loan outstanding, which is year three in our example. Therefore, we use the present value formula. The prospective method formula is the present value of unpaid installments. So, we use the present value of ordinary annuities because there are future equivalent unpaid installments. So, our formula is the present value of the remaining unpaid installments, which is equal to the periodic installments multiplied by, open the first bracket, one minus, open the second bracket, one plus the interest rate, close the second bracket, to the power of negative, open bracket, number of total periods minus the number of paid periods, close bracket, close the first bracket, all divided by the interest rate.